A huge force of four engine bombers takes off on a clear night for Germany. The twin towns of Mannheim Ludwigshafen, the second largest inland port in Europe, is about to receive its 58th attack. With its maze of docks, industrial installations, machinery, electrical and chemical plants, it lies high in Air Chief Marshal Harris's list of towns scheduled for destruction by Bomber Command. What you are about to see are pictures taken on the night, used in conjunction with maps and diagrams skillfully illustrating the carefully planned attack. Describing it to you is what we might call the voice of the RAF. Here is a map of Europe showing Germany in black and the position of Mannheim Ludwigshafen in Germany at the junction of the rivers Rhine and Neckar. Note the position of this town relative to Berlin, Frankfurt and Cologne. Now let's take a closer look at the area on a map with north at the top of the screen. And you will see that Mannheim and Ludwigshafen make up a compact built up area intercepted by a number of important and distinctive waterways connecting with the rivers Rhine and Neckar. Note the important Lutpoldhafen in the Ludwigshafen port area. The Mannheim docks on the east bank of the Rhine to the north of the town. And this important bridge linking Mannheim and Ludwigshafen. Remember the arc shape of this area just south of the docks with the main post office right in the center. And here marked by a black line is the path of the aircraft which is carrying the film cameras. It flew over the target on a heading of 070. Now let's look at the distinctive waterways which stand out very clearly at night. Remember how the town lies in relation to these. Their layout will help you to position the fires during the run over the target. But remember the target will look like this, for you will be travelling on a heading of 070, which will be at the top of the screen. The Rhine will lie like this, the Lutpold half and like this, and the aircraft will travel in this direction. Now we start the run up. Already target indicators dropped by the Pathfinder force are cascading down to mark the target for the main force of bombers. A huge explosion lights up the area around the south bank of the Lutboldhafen at its junction with the Rhine. Now you can see that the Pathfinder force are doing their work with deadly accuracy as the main force of bombers begin to arrive and the attack starts to build up. There are several kinds of flashes you will see during the run over the target. Short sharp ones like this and this which are the bursting of bombs on the target and more sustained ones like this and this which are the photo flashes dropped by other aircraft and the continuous bursting of sticks of incendiaries on the ground which can be seen glowing and fluctuating throughout the run over the target as they take a hold on buildings. Take no notice of the flickering white lines on the right of the screen. These are caused by a static discharge due to the intense cold experience at the height the aircraft is flying. Now fires are beginning to build up around the Mannheim goods yards and main station. The land's engineering works and amongst the buildings around these works. Fires are starting in the Lutboldhafen warehouses. Note too the three fires in the arc-shaped area near the spot where the target indicators fell. Take another look at this early stage of the attack while we stop the film once more during the split second that the scene is lit by the photo flashes dropped by other aircraft. Watch the parachute flare on the left of the screen drifting across the target below the aircraft. Now look at the fires blazing in the gas works and along the Rhine bank to the north of them. In the Mannheim goods yards and main station, the Lutboldhafen warehouses and the Lance engineering works. We are now passing over the centre of Mannheim out towards the river Neckar. And you can still see the explosions from blockbusters and huge fires raging beneath the large pall of smoke and dust. And now as we run out of the target area and set course for home, we leave behind the flaming battlefield of yet another victory for Bomber Command and the great night offensive to cripple the Nazi war machine at its source.